Hey guys, welcome back into Bioshock Infinite. So we are finally ready to take this airship and get on out of here. Which will no doubt cause us problems with Elizabeth. Because right? we're not going to Paris. I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one... Wait, what is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. Did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. Booker, I told you this was gonna happen. Come on, Eddie. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can- Oh! Can't say I'm not proud of her. Finkton. Turns out the girl's no fool. I prefer- Dang it, I don't read those fast enough. Oh, Elizabeth, you changing it to Paris? Just leave me here, okay. I understand the anger, though. Oh! I don't think I'm gonna be happy I'm here. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Cause it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith. Supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. Oh! Okay. Better find the Think. She out of here. Uh, we have been given a side mission. Uh, where's Elizabeth? Squad came and took him. You ain't gonna see him around no more. Samuel always thought that the pew on Sunday went hand in hand with the desk on. One second, Hattie. What's the ability to chain floating and fract from one enemy to others? Devil's kiss boost increases the damage. Um. Nah, I like how the Devil's Kiss is 666. Um, let's do that. We can always use more damage. Hey, science is the slow revelation of God's blueprint. After two years in the Lamb's Tower on Monument Island, he took ill with cancer of the stomach. I prayed to the prophet, and the prophet delivered unto us a miracle through his servant, Fink. I do not know if I will ever get used to a husband bound in a skeleton of metal, but 
Better a handyman than a dead one. Ooh, so that's how you get handymen. Oh, lockpick. Don't have Elizabeth, but I got a lockpick. All right, I don't want to go that way. Uh, take that just for the principle of it. Now would be a great time for telekinesis. Elizabeth. Completely understand why she's angry. Oh, I was about to get worried that the sound had cut off. I'm just gonna be taking this. Give it. It's right there. Don't tease me with it. The game said I can't have that. Try from a different angle. But why is it, Mr. Fink, that we have to work 16 hours a day? Now, let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten your work day. But the fact is, I simply can't. Why not, you ask? Well, I can sum it up for you in one word. Morality. You see, I was friends, listening to the think. idle hand is the tool of the devil. You take industry from a man's hand, and what goes in its place? Whiskey, women, this here is and the dice. And I, for one, one trouble, will not have that, that in our silly so little town. town. You can try to make me leave if you want to. Don't be squaring up with me. I have a gun. I'll count to three. One, two. Really? Could have all been avoided. You'd minded your business. Oh, wait. Nope. Wrong one. I want that. Oh, wait. Did that not work? Suddenly, an employee. Hi, how you doing? Team Daily Prayers to the Founding Fathers. Oh. I guess I deserve that for being back here, but still. Okay. What gear is this? Killing with excessive damage stuns nearby enemies compared to... Let's do that. What else is around here? Oh! Oh, dang it! I like it when they disappear. Oh. I 
actually. Oh! Why are you here? Mercy belongs to the Lord. Oh, I'm about to have a problem. Go. All right, get the shield back up. I have no salt. That works. shields. Block pick I was looking at. Oh, Elizabeth. We've gone. How you doing? You just looking at this? I bet you someone got fired for this mistake. Gotta find Elizabeth and also find that gunsmith because we are apparently wrapped up yeah, with the Vox Populi now. Snipe. You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Ooh. Or maybe you don't. Don't run away. Hey! It's That's a pick. For a Stay away. I know you're upset. Even I'm a little upset with him. Am I missing anything? Oh. I just want to talk to you! I said stay away! Elizabeth, oh, what are you gonna do? Ugh. Elizabeth! Balloons! Get away from me! Just hold up for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Oh. Move it! Move! Stay what did say? Defending. Don't go into the police station. That is the last place either of us need to be. Don't go in there. I have no need of one such as you. Oh. No, no. Call it in. Call it in. Oh, come on. Let me go. Elizabeth. There's got to be another way in. They called Slate a monster and a traitor. I know the men who died in the Hall of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the Hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner. Well, if you show up and pick a fight, you can go with them. She's upstairs. Oh, 
Who else is around here? not what I need. I do need salt. Oh, I see it. he use it. Oh. He got me that time. Yeah. That's fine. Life is saved, partially healed, enemies lose some money. Yeah. Volley gun. Okay, I'll give it a try. If you're alive, please step out. I would like to try the volley gun on you. Oh wait, I didn't grab that. All right, Elizabeth, where did you go? Take the lines. Okay. this line while I'm on it. There's something right there. Oh! Elizabeth, please help. Oh, I don't like that thing. Come on. Oh, she does care. And we're falling again. Hey, hey I'm slipping. Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. <sighs> Elizabeth, okay. I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out yes. of here. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? <sighs> you're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Friends? <laughs> Together again. Reunited and it feels good. Don't okay. Get too comfortable with my company, Mr. Too late. Already there. No more. What can I see in Finkton? See, Lizzie. I'm gonna call you Lizzie. This won't take long at all. Labor. And then, well, there are the hyenas. 
Ready. The troublemakers who only serve to rile. Landing off of a skyline knots back nearby enemies. Uh, we'll take it. The okay, I mean, no mind. Now, Mr. Anything? Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know he'll reward you. I don't think so. I see you have a bright future in Finkton. Pay me no mind. Leaving Finkton. Still in Finkton. Don't trust Fitzroy to honor our deal. That would be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Future begins here. Path of the Vox Populi. Have I seen this? Accompanied by a cute little tune. What are you guys doing? Umbrella. Oh, that's my gunsmith. Okay, I didn't see that sign before. No jobs today. Main elevator to Finkton proper. Oh, and they're all closed. I'm just gonna go in here. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Belief is is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce, but like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Well, that's Fink Timber, a Fink Hammer, and Fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> he needs me, lest he soil his own. Get me in, Lizzie. Shield. Perfect. What else is in here? Okay. Don't see anything on the floor. We are good to continue on with our illegal activities. Can you open this? There. Over Thank there. you. The service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Ooh. Show yourself. <laughs> oh. An order. What is anarchy? It's not the night. No. Still the king. Thank you. Oh, go away. Washington. Salt. 
Oh, come on. I deserve that. I should have used Bronco. Oh, where? How did we get all the way back here? Well, at least the area's cleared out. Now we can head back down. What'd you see? Oh, block picks. Uh, machine gun. Oh, Slate. I hold in my hand the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child not. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bed sheets. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I only need one. I can do that. Yeah, from Lady Comstock's own audio diary, she did not seem like the best person anyway. Wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Hopefully he's still alive when we get there, because uh we need that ship. Um My bad. You hold on to this. Thank you. All right, up we go. I need to see what's over here. Okay, that just leads back up. Hmm. See anything? Now, if somebody comes along and tells you that you are getting the Elizabeth, issue, keep a lookout. Do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> They're saying, Done. Thank you. And this just leads friend, back up. Yes. Sorry, Booker. Say, I... I wanted the quicker way down. Let's see. Do shotgun damage. Definitely had to increase the damage on the volley gun because it did not do what I expected it to do as far as damage goes. Booker. Oh, what? It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Ooh. Why would Slate have it? Husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall oh. not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Oh, sweetheart, I think that means you're not her daughter. That makes more sense as to why she just didn't like you. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with oh. you my personal creed. What is the most admirable So is she on Comstock's God's kid leader? then? Why, it's the bee. Keep hands and feet away vacation? from the machinery. Have Easy you ever enough. Seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. 
So I say, huh. be the bee. Be the bee. Oh, answer the phone. Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> What the hell was that? I have, I have no, idea. no idea. Don't it trust it though. Oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, now I'm really concerned. Well, the man's got an ego. Nice statue though. Okay, so if Elizabeth isn't Lady Comstock's kid, is she even Comstock's child? We have more questions we need answered. <laughs> That's now, an interesting clock. To me, think, why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, the Fink Company store brings you Think products at a price. Good worker always has his eyes on the task at Fink hand. Worker. Are you Flambeau? Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. A hand cannon? What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why? So sorry, young hmm. But any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. So he's not interested in Elizabeth at all. News? Doesn't strike me as good news. It's probably not. We should be on our guard. Scavenge supplies by the clock shop. Twenty minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes now. Bid fourteen. We give me fourteen. Ten. Ten minutes bid now. Ten. We give me nine. Nine. I bid nine. Now nine. We give me eight. Nine minutes bid. Now nine. Eight. Okay, they're bidding on the jobs. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Oh, why torment yourself? I ask. The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? What? Alright, what kind of upgrades do we have for the hand cannon? If we can do any. Ooh. I'm not even using my rifle right now, though. Boost in fire rate. Uh, decrease reload time for the shotgun. Alright. We'll do that because likely I will be picking up my rifle at some point. Thank you. No one pay me any mind. Chen Lin, gunsmith. Yeah, before we go in there, let's make sure we know our surroundings. Oh! What? That's fun. Oh. Where is... Oh! Let's get rid of this. Music stopped. I think that wasn't a very gracious welcome. Oh, 
Ooh, there's a tear in here. Several tears. Medical kits. <laughs> it's coming from that tear. I never heard that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Fortunate son. Most people have heard that song. Lately, I've been hearing a whole mess of funny Killing time ideas. kills Columbia. Elizabeth, if you see a lockpick, call it out. Or something. Oh, that's what's wanting me to search. So, when are we gonna meet Mr. Fink? Okay, I heard another turret. I just don't know where it is. Enter the Good Time Club. Let me make sure. They live to stir up trouble. So you beware the hyena. They will leave you with We're still good. Okay, another vending machine. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock, and well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. Doesn't look like we can enter now. The more they look, the deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible. So she didn't kill Lady Comstock? Ooh, then who did? Don't know, my money's kind of on Comstock himself. I'll wait down here. If Daisy didn't do it, I'm putting my money on Mr. Comstock himself. Ooh. When revived, recover in full health. Killing with excessive damage stuns near to- Ooh, but I like that one too. We'll take it. Alright, there's my rifle if I want it back. Oh. Why are you not turning? There you go. Where do you go? It's locked. No problem. Why George Washington would only accept the presidency if he were paid a single dollar a year. So don't let okay, money volley come gun. between you and your craft. What can we find in here? Lockpick. That poster. There's another oh. cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's been held at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. Good call. Maybe we should do that before going to meet Chinlin. Let's do that just in case so we can get into the Good Time Club. Yes. Okay, we'll check out this place first, see if we can't find that code book. Yes, we should come back later. Okay. Does that mean I literally can't check this place out? Oh, I can't. Interesting. Crying comes to shanty town.
Bington worker housing has been plagued by panhandling. Destruction of Fink property. And worse! Fink blames his head of security. The boss has no patience for failure. Who is the head of security? The time they spend for these little propaganda movies is honestly impressive. Really shows the dedication to the cause and manipulation of the people. Chenlin, let's go see our gunsmith. Mr. Lin, are you home? I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. I blamed no one for nothing, it was assumed. And I don't like being used. Even if I agree with your cause, don't like being used. Elizabeth, as always, find the lockpicks. The world is our oyster, but only if we have a lockpick to open the oyster. I've read about this. Mm. That's Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worshipped that ain't him. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Ooh. Local constabulary, no doubt. Oh no, they got Mr. Lin. Do you oh. hear that? There's someone downstairs. Oh, where did you come from? <gasps> Talk to Mrs. Excuse Lin. Me. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Ma'am. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where where is this club? Booker will find it. Yeah, we can get there on our own. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> I'll go help your husband. Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. All right, let's figure out where this good time club is. Luckily, we were there before. We just got turned away. Are the civilians back? Either of you. Oh! Nope. Oh, that does not work on you. Ooh. Every step is like calls. Oh. I will never stop running. Where is he? Oh, sir. Still looking. Where do you go? 
away from you. That is where I go. Oh, no, I need the salt. Oh. Oh. So much. Oh, why won't it let me? What was that about? I'm just gonna run around in a circle till I can get back to where I wanted to go. Pay me no mind, Mr. Handyman. Just trying to get over here. Oh, I was caught on something before. That was the problem. Oh, really? Go, Booker. Elizabeth, you are not trying to hand me anything. Where are you at, ugly? Oh, where'd he go? Does he just disappear? Catch, Booker. Thank you. Oh! Does he explode? He gives off some type of a shock when he dies. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. Not really, I ran. Killing with a bigger trap has a 50% chance to cause the enemy gun to become a ghostly ally for a few seconds. Uh... There it is, oh, Mr. I really don't like him, and I also... ...inside and find Mr. Lin, and just call me Booker. Really don't like the shock jockey doesn't work. Sorry about what I said, the docs. Aww. I mean, we deserved it. Ah, do it, my boy. You know, the best kind of interview is one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. <laughs> You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want, Fink? My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. <laughs> a man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Um. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. Here's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> oh, we got a fireman, don't we? Look a fireman. I see him. Where's he at? Oh, did he die? 
That's not gonna work from here. Salts on you. Bugger. Watch out, Elizabeth. Oh, he's still alive? Washington, die. I didn't want to use that. Interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all do about now. your Done. little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but <laughs> I promise you this. I will get what I want. I'm normally okay with bribery, but I just don't like you. Alright, shotgun. Well, let's do that, actually. I want you. Nice. Pistol. Da-da-da. Grab that lockpick. Elizabeth! More money. Here you go. Why would you get in my way? Also, where's the lockpick? That 
it. Where does this go? Bathrooms. Oh yeah, the cipher. Got to figure out exactly where that is. Kind of forgot about it for a second. The first lady. Oh, is this just for the airship? Cypher, cypher, lock pick. Not gonna leave until I find it. I might have already passed it, but I will find it. Oh wait. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Oh wait, that door was locked up before. Let's go check over there before we continue through. We'll check this and then we'll go back through the other door of the stage. Ooh. Sniper rifle. On very low health, killing an enemy gives health. Help oh, we're good. Lock. Really? That little old lock. Open, please. It's done. efficiency up. Do not see the cipher in here. Huh. All right. Maybe it's this way. Your alley. Let's go get our man. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Man, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. There you go. Right, disposal. You guys have any friends? Oh, why's the pigeon in a cage? Hey. What? Elizabeth, what? Okay. Just 
said hey and absolutely no follow up. Ooh, my code book. That's it. That's the book for the clock shop. All right, use the cipher to crack the code. Oh. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, we found some money. Want it? Thank you. Bring in tonight. Please tell me he's still alive. What's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. They treat them like animals. To tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructed. What people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. It's Slate. Wait. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Yeah. That was what he wanted. I'm sorry for not doing that earlier, buddy. Oh, poor Slate. I was kind of hoping that instead of getting picked up, he would just kind of run and hide, but I guess that's not his thing. I'm sorry. He even drew us a nice little heart by his name in blood. I should have just killed him when he asked me to. But at the time, I was angry. Because he made my life so unnecessarily difficult. Oh wait, why is it... Oh. Got a lock, needs picking. Let me see. There. Oh. Getting some lag. Uh, okay, that's Mr. Lin. So what is over here? 50% chance that a melee target is stunned, victim vulnerable for three seconds. Take gear, I like the other one. Locked. Elizabeth? I can do that. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Got it. Mr. Lynn. You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it, not hyenas. Oh, Lynn's dead, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Mr. Lin. I don't know where you are in this dark room. Yeah. We're too late. God damn it. This is what he meant. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead oh. is dead. What? The hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What from... do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. 
One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If Those two are so this, freaky. I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Oh, just to be safe, I'm gonna run back and open that cipher because... If we're going into a parallel dimension, I don't exactly know what is going to change, but that seems to be what's happening right now. Okay. I can open that tear whenever you're ready. Elizabeth, we're gonna go and find that cipher, and then we will be right back for all of this. Elizabeth, let's open this up. Wherever you may be. Elizabeth? Oh, there you are. Alright, give me a second. The no problem. The broken clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This the broken like one? one? Set it to midnight. Oh. Nice. I came to Columbia because I believed in God, and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. All right, what exactly is she up to? So not only is Elizabeth capable of opening up portals to different times and locations, she just opens up portals to completely different dimensions. Also, Lutess and her companion, they have to be capable of dimensional travel as well, because whenever they speak to each other, they speak as if they've already done everything they're currently doing. I would love to know more about those two, because they are definitely the instigators of this entire situation. Ready now? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it, Elizabeth. Okay. No blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. But we're at the Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Oh no, there's something going on. Okay, repeater. We'll give this a try. They're riot? I didn't leave anything in that room, did I? Oh, Vox. More Vox. Is Slade still here and dead? Yeah, that didn't change. Tell me about Daisy. Cut him loose. What? Scarfield oh. says cut him loose. They're bringing his tools to the lockup. They'll uh, keep him clean, I guess. Why? What are you? The Columbia Gazette? The chink's wife got friends in high places. Come on. We need to sell. Huh? At least he's alive. I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. Ooh. Box Thread, Daisy, Michael, Abernathy Cook, Morgan Creed. Them. They were 
dead. Uh, I'm just in this world. Disgusting! Sick, sick, sick. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. Oh. And that happened to Booker before. Oh, we're dead in a different dimension. I mean, with the limitless possibilities of multiple realities, of course you're dead in some of those dimensions. But I guess these guys are being affected by the proximity of their reality where they died to this one. Oh, Booker. How did you die? Remember what? Being dead. Ooh. Oh. Okay, this one's precise. Oh, crap. Seems like Fink no longer wants to be our friend. Thank you. Much obliged. It's all a lie. That man we just fought. In the other world, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Now I'm concerned about Booker. Because from the way the Lutes talks. She's tried working with Booker before, just based on the comment that she made in the boat to the guy that she's with. I'm assuming it's her brother, probably. But, um... She tells him one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed, and then they constantly repeat things as if they've done all of this before. So now I'm wondering how many times Lutes has tried bringing Booker to Columbia for some means, and Booker dies. Probably 123 based off the coin toss. Oh, Booker. I wonder why he's so slow to be affected. Well, Elizabeth said the other guys were reacting the way they did because they remembered what it was like to be dead. Where? Oh. After him. Out of cover. Some salt. Here. Thank That'll you. Do. Oh, why can't I hit you? Can I? Oh. Why you know? Get up there. Look her. Do the jumps. Okay, that's a volley. Sorry, that's all I got. You're fine. That's not gonna work. Still looking. Catch, Booker. Thank you. Booker. Look. What am I looking at? I'm giving you the job. Oh, please kill the false shepherd. 
All right, Fink does not want to work with us anymore. As is life, sometimes you just don't get the job offer. Let us hope that our gunsmith is alive, well, and ready to help. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Oh, don't he's tell me he's not a gunsmith now. anymore. Look, the shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Oh no, he remembers being dead. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Kill my husband? Oh! His troubled thoughts. Sarah Lin! Ease his burden. Hello, Mrs. Excuse Lin. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin. <laughs> no, I, I mean a little <clears throat> Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. <laughs> they took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... <laughs> if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Oh, don't tell me we're running around now. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Getting his tools isn't going to fix the fact that he remembers being dead. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. I remember when Booker had a bloody nose. Where are they at? Where's... Okay, that can't be. Ah. Thank you. Oh, sir. All right, now we're on a hunt for the tools. Which I do not believe is going to fix the situation at hand. Oh, the path is open now. Okay, we solved the oh, cipher. Some folks just aren't satisfied with their place here at Fink Industries. But I tell you, there's a purpose for... Oh, uh, that's for Crow Trap. I haven't been using Crow Trap that much. I keep on to the money. You wanna ask me, ask me. Oh, uh, what? My finger. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't... It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. So I say, uh, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. 
Okay, I noticed that in the tower, but then I quickly forgot about it because of how south the tower went. But it's important in some way if she's bringing it back up. Ooh, what else is around here? No. Okay. Thank That'll you. Do. Come on. Stop him. Thank you for your help, Mr. Turret. I appreciate you. Elizabeth. Is there any reason for this one? I'll wait down Ooh. here. There was a rifle here. Um, I'll keep what I have. What type of upgrades do we have? It's for the shotgun. All right. We don't really have any upgrades relating to damage, which is mostly what I'm in the market for. Hold up, Elizabeth. We need to... Ooh! What are you and how do I get you? Elizabeth! We need this plasmid. Can I not just open the store? No. Oh, is this something I have to leave? Because I see no way of opening that door. Well, I guess we have to come back this way if we're going to get Mr. Lin his tools. Oh. Thanks, Elizabeth. She didn't really point it out, but I saw her bending down to look at something and figured I'd look too. I guess we have to come back this way if we're going to go back to see Mr. Lin. Ah. I don't want to leave it. Folks in Shantytown. You must think me some sort of... freak. Nah. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a... a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. It does sound crazy. I am not going back to that tower, no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. <sighs> Why hast thou forsaken us? This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak much of me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. Mm. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy More money. everything they're selling to Thank keep you. you down. Great. I'm sure someone else around here couldn't Easy use that, but we've got it now. Real soon. These people are like this because of a fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Yep. Elizabeth, are you pushing me? You are. Thiefing! Bad! Long live Daisy! Oh! What? Oh, 
Didn't mean to kill the civilians. Oh, the drawbacks of that one vigor I'm using. No, it's gear I'm using. Oh, but I wasn't gonna leave this infusion anyway, and that probably would have upset them. Okay, let's try not to kill more people. Unless we have to. Where am I going? Ooh, I don't want to go that way then. Oh, sir. I'll cut you in I didn't want to do it. We good? Because if we're not, I'm just gonna warn you I'm not the person you want to pick a fight with. Don't. Oh, <laughs> he's just getting sick. The guitar is sparkling. Will the circle be unbroken by and by? By and by is a better. that tune since we arrived in Columbia. Because I could have sworn I heard that exact same melody when we first arrived in Columbia right before- oh, what keys did I pick up? Find the box to unlock. Okay, now we need a box. When you force deep underground, well... You see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. A fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. You just stay there, child. Elizabeth, I love you, but you keep getting in my way. I'm gonna borrow this. Oh, come on. I didn't want to be this person, but you are all making me into this person. I just needed the salt. Right, we have the same upgrades as before. Well, there's a damage boost for the machine gun that I haven't picked up since the very first time we got it. Ooh. Lock pick. So many lock picks. Now we're looking for a box. Oh, there's different. 
Different civilians are around now. Ma'am, have you seen a box? the money Sir, have you seen a box anywhere? People are treated like men. Others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like a wounded knee. Yeah, like a wounded knee. Okay. Ooh. Seed, lamb, whatever you call her, we don't need her. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that just means they're not interested in you. Okay, increases clip size for all weapons by 50%. We'll take it. Can I get up there? Booker, there's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. Make no mistake, soldiers. The box and weapons go together like fire and gunpowder. One spark, and we'll have a blaze we cannot control. All right, see a turret. He ran off. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I saw something. Okay, let me handle this situation and then I'll go back for what I saw. <laughs> Got to be careful. better gun for this. Do it! Ooh, this'll work. Just what the doctor ordered. Mind your business. Back around. <laughs> oh, I have no more ammo for this. Actually, there might be ammo where I picked it up. Reload, Booker. Alright, 
God handles that. Who's still around? Patriot. Well, Fitzroy, you you got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Said, of course. You're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. Oh, okay. Preston. No idea if you're still alive, but if you are, you and I are gonna have a chat. Ooh, that was a mosquito. What else is right over there? Uh, RPG. Yeah, I want to get back to that hook. Because I don't know if I saw something over there or not. Can I... I might jump down first. Come on without me. Be right back. Oh, it was just salts. Okay, that was all that was over here. Slowly ride the skyline to see if I cannot find... Is there health in here? Oh, I can't even open that. See if I can't find the box... So it might not even be in this area. There, that one. There you go. Oh. It's locked. Keep a lookout. Oh, yeah. We have to go to impound. I almost forgot. Bullhouse impound. Oh, this is not the weapon I want for this. Do you guys happen to have a box in here? Oh, why can't I search the desk behind me? That's where I spotted. Biovox Populi Leader Daisy Fitzroy. Who took that recording? The Great Prophet has foreseen her end. Only he can protect us. Our profit. Probably staged more than actually being Daisy. Be. You see- oh! I almost missed that! Thank you, Elizabeth. Huh. 
Oh, the people's voice. Yeah. Fox popular. Don't make me do this. Oh, where you at? Always here. Rejoice, or death has no sting. Catch. Thank you. Hold still, Mr. Washington. Are you the last of them? Our values, lockpicks. Lock Elizabeth. Seems easy enough. There you go. Thank you. Put that into salt. Increased radius of explosive weapon splash damage versus enemies provide ammo upon death. Feel better already. Wants us to go downstairs. Oh. Why were you just looking in the window? Oh. Okay. Shot him dead, Morgan Creed. Underground hideout located in Finkton. Lady Comstock. Oh, that's the hand cannon. Um, I'll keep this. Oh, box. Thank you. There's the job, and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn box, and I take their money, but. What's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're... They're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. It's all right, buddy. I found your key. that. I think there's a lockpick over there. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. You're the best. Find more stuff. That's, ooh. Gotta get all their money. They're dead anyway. They don't need it. Crank gun. Oh, nothing? You just wanted to say something? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Property of Columbia. I take. 
Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Um, there's some logistics issues with this. How are we with this. No moving problem. this? Got it. <laughs> Elizabeth, what was that? Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? Ourselves. Help us. Yeah. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. We are helping us, Elizabeth. Sometimes you have to worry about number one. Will Daisy help? Let's hope so. The founders will bleed. But we won't be sticking around to find out. Why aren't you looking through? It's a cage. It's a cell. You don't need to do that. We help Fitzroy, and then we head to New York. Well, we sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. That's what Need I money? said. Oh, catch! Yes, please. Through the door. Oh! It looks like a tear to a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. If the tools aren't in there, then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Oh. What exactly is going through this one going to do? We are just going to have to find out what happens when we open that tear in the next episode. So many things have happened in a very short time. I feel like that's a constant thing with this game and this franchise in general, but this game specifically, because I originally thought that Elizabeth's power was to open up portals to different times and locations, but she opens doorways to parallel universes. So many possibilities. I'm very concerned about Booker now. Because from what we saw, when people remember that they have died in another reality, they start to get that nosebleed, and it's almost like they're phasing in and out of realities, like they're losing touch, they're disassociating. We've seen that happen to Booker. It's very clear that he has died before, and in the grand scheme of things, if you're thinking about infinite possibilities and realities, of course you've died in some of them. But it seems like because of the proximity some of these people have had in the universe that they died in versus the universe that they came back in. That's what causes that disassociation. I'm worried about Booker. Based off of the conversations that Lutess has with us, her audio diaries, and the conversations that she has with her companion, it's very clear that she's done this multiple times which means Booker has done this multiple times. And if we're going off of the coin toss, we've done this and failed 123 times. And Lutess even says, one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has already failed. I'm concerned. I want to see exactly where this is going. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode and I hope you'll join me again. And I will be seeing you very soon. Bye.